When you meet Serena in season one, she's a reformed bad girl. She's very neutral. She's trying to figure out who she's going to be now because she didn't like who she was. And she started dating Dan, so she was able to put all of that off onto someone else. So now it's going to be interesting to see Serena come into her own. She's becoming more of an adult, becomes a bit of a well-known socialite now, um, gets out of the high school crowd a little bit in season two. So it's, it's the interesting. The phoenix rises from the ashes. That's what it says, <laughs> and that's what it says in the uh, direction. Last year you saw kind of everything he did was kind of bad and for a, you know, for a destructive consequence. And then um, now he's kind of using his manipulative uh, assets, I guess, to uh, to go after something that he's passionate about. You know, something that is actually kind of sweet and good. I guess. Yeah. Like he's being kind of good. Yeah. A little bit good. Yeah. Wow. Uh, not too much. Not too much. Get off me, I think she's still hoping for something with Nate, but we'll see how he he treats her. I don't know. Yeah. He, he might be like one too many tracks yeah. red flag. She might have to like move away. From Stand her up five <laughs> times in a row. I've become obsessed with, with clothing and wonderful designers. I'm exposed to so many fantastic designers, Chanel, Valentino, yeah. Gucci. Um, but then also there are these newer, younger designers like Vanna Kava, Derek Lamb, Alexander Wang, Philip Lim that I just, I love um, seeing their stuff and being exposed to that. I bought some high top sneakers that have tons of colors and patterns and I'm really nervous to wear them in my own life. I'm like, I don't know if I can pull it off. Like they put Vanessa's outfits together so well that I'm like, I don't know if I can do it, but I'm going to try. And just living in New York, too, already not even being on the the greatest show for fashion, yeah, but just living in New York, your fashion really steps up We're exposed to a whole new notch. culture, like the fashion world. I know I know that I had no idea what it was like, and now I, at the uh, at the Met Ball, actually, I was introduced very briefly to Mark Jacobs, so I didn't realize it was a person. I just thought it was, you know, a name. <laughs> and he said, I am Mark Jacobs, and I was like, oh, which he probably thought was some obnoxious response. But I was like, oh, Mark Jacobs. You're real. We've kind of been able to contribute our own taste to what you know we should wear on the show, but we do a fitting for every episode. I do, you do, right? Of course. Yeah. We do because I mean, some days like even just within one day that's on an episode, I'll have four or five changes because yeah. I have to change for dinner and then a party and then yeah. driving and it's whatever been, else. It's been a pleasant change actually. The episode we're just filming right now. I have two costumes. Nice. I'm in my pajamas the entire episode, and nice. then I have a suit. And that's that. That's There's great. something to look forward to. It's relaxing. <laughs>